After rewatching the spectacular Shin Gojira, I learned of an interesting scene that was ultimately cut from the movie, a scene that perfectly sets up an interesting concept for a sequel. The scene in particular shows a hazmat team exploring the ruins of the city after second form Godzilla's rampage through it, with an overall horror overtone blanketing in the scene itself. Upon being startled by a chunk of meat falling, the team eventually discover large chunks of Godzilla's melted flesh, with the flesh having small eyes and teeth scattered in the chunks. This will ultimately lead the team to collect samples of the flesh to further understand and study Godzilla. From this scene, as well as throughout the movie itself, we see that due to Godzilla's unique unstable genetic mapa, he is capable of adapting forms separate from his main body, with a primary example being the humanoid forms we see at the end of the movie. With the scene itself, it can set up a potential sequel where after the freezing of Godzilla at the end of the first movie, the government has to find and contain chunks of the kaiju flesh, which if left unattended, could evolve and eventually adapt to a brand new Godzilla entirely, with the government doing everything in their power to make sure the monster isn't reborn once more.